Welcome back to the Neon Arcade for some more Cyberpunk 2077 Corporation lore. Today we're talking about Lazarus Group, their size and operation, as well as their niche in the world of 2020 and going forward into the times of Red and 2077. Lazarus Military Operations Group, or simply put Lazarus Group, is one of the largest and most successful mega corporations dealing in military services and private contracting ranging from single solo operatives to entire army divisions. Lazarus was the brainchild of wealthy inheritor Nelson Katsadolis. With the instability of the 21st century ever present, there was a need for a mercenary organization that offered high quality services for upper echelon customers. Katsadolis had a dream of offering the highest caliber of these mercenary and military services, something that would make the existing companies that offered similar services obsolete. Knowing virtually nothing about leading a military operation, however, Katsadolis sought out Emil Lazarus, a former colonel in the Special Forces and Medal of Honor recipient. After a disastrous operation during the second South American conflict, Emil Lazarus became incredibly dissatisfied with the US military despite his love for being a soldier. He was hired to lead the operations and his renowned name was used to create Lazarus Group. Whilst Katsadolis was a silent partner taking care of finances, Emil began putting plans into motion for training facilities and recruiting 5,000 trainees who received 8 weeks of training from experts in military tactics and equipment. During the 2010s, the Lazarus Group participated in the Central African Conflicts of 2013, the Urban Unrest of 2014, the Third Corporate War, and the European Brushfire Wars of 2018. With these constant operations and successes, this catalyzed the group's growth into a powerhouse mega corporation in the 2020s with over a quarter million in troops. Lazarus typically offers four packages depending on the needs of the customer, corp, or government. This includes solo operatives, small units and special teams, median forces, as well as large forces. Lazarus trains their own operatives, but also hires solos who already have a wide range of experience. The more experienced the solo is, the higher his or her lease price. Since solos are such a valuable asset, losing an experienced operative can cost Lazarus a small fortune. Lazarus has a variety of different solos with many combinations of race and linguistic abilities to suit any situation. If you do have a particular need or niche, Lazarus most likely will have an operative that will fit perfectly into that niche situation. The more unique the skills, proficiency, and look of a solo, the higher the surcharge. These solos take out reconnaissance, infiltration, assassination, and investigative missions in a variety of situations, including special terrain, airdrops, ocean infiltration, amongst a myriad of others. Operatives can deny a job, especially if it's a suicide mission, but as an operative declines job after job, their prestige and price will drop proportionally. When a single soldier won't quite get the job done and you're looking to upscale your forces, the small units and special teams package may be a more appropriate offering. Forces range from 2 to around 20 soldiers, but most of the contracts for this package involve teams of 2 to 6. These teams will run demolition, sabotage, hostage rescue, and extraction missions. If you're looking for between 50 to 1,000 soldiers to do your bidding, the Median Forces package is the next tier up within the Lazarus ecosystem. These forces are used for a variety of purposes, including area security, crowd control, assault, reinforcement, and more. These units can have specializations, which can be leased out at an extra cost. Finally, we have the Large Forces, which deploy between 2,000 and 10,000 operatives. Typically, only big corporations, nations, and governments can afford this tier, with the absolute largest package stretching to 20,000 troops at a cost of 100 million euro dollars per month. Lazarus has aggressive advertising on corporate billboards and in the net to market and distribute its products and services, but their marketing strategy has to be balanced with recruiting troops as well. Because the pool of combat employees spans a wide spectrum, targeting the best and the brightest is high up on the hierarchy of importance. Lazarus Group does have an exclusivity contract with Militech Corporation, meaning that Lazarus uses Militech equipment whenever possible. Lazarus features their weaponry in advertising, and in exchange, the group receives high-quality gear in bulk at a discounted rate. Lazarus also conducts operational trials for Militech equipment and weapons. Lazarus is headquartered in Roslyn, Virginia, but they do have regional offices in New York, Chicago, London, Berlin, Tokyo, Seoul, Cairo, Nairobi, as well as of course Night City. As always, thank you guys for watching and for more cyberpunk lore, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.